Wow. So, excuse me. So apparently there was a protest today um, by this group. I just saw on Twitter that there was a protest today at one o'clock and that there will be another protest on May 6th um, in London to protest the uh, coronation. I mean, this has nothing to do with Meghan and Harry, really. It really has to do... These are the anti-monarchists that I spoke about in previous videos. Uh, you know, one of the groups that I think will be hard to manage on, on the coronation day. And I think when coupled with other groups such as the anti-Harry and Meghan haters and then the Harry and Meghan Sussex squatters, you've got three fairly, you know, what's the word I could use for these three groups? I mean, they're warring tribes at a minimum. And I, you know, it, I worry. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, you know, I remember saying, you know, they should protest the, mon the, the monarchy, frankly, or the coronation, because when Camilla did not speak out in support of Megan, when Jeremy Clarkson invited people to go and throw excrement at Megan and who parade her through the streets of London. I really found that to be very, very upsetting and unacceptable coming from someone who had just had a gala or some kind of event at Buckingham Palace to speak out against abuse against women in the world. And then this man said something so completely abusive on every level and the silence was deafening from Camilla, you know, and I was so angry about that. And I said, you know, people should boycott the the coronation. I mean, why? How can you crown someone like this queen if this is what she does to a family member? I mean, if you can do that to a family member, what will you do to total strangers? And um, so that was sort of my thing. But you know, I've come a long way from it. You know, in the sense that. I still think what she did was her silence was unacceptable. I think it was not right. I, I think she could have said something and spoken out. But, you know, so many other things have happened in the interim that it's like not my biggest beef at the moment. Um, and I would even say that, you know, boycotting the coronation, you know, it's not like my raison d'etre at the moment. But it definitely seems to be the raison d'etre for groups like the Republic because they're saying that this is the moment we make our objection loud, visible, and impossible to ignore. What does that even mean, right? Impossible to ignore. This is why I think Harry and Meghan should not go anywhere near this coronation, because everybody's going to make their objections loud, visible, and impossible to ignore. And I just feel like, why go into the arena when you know that, you know, the, the bulls of Pamplona are coming to, to attack you, you know, in advance, why go there? You know, I just feel like May 6th is going to be a day to remember in, in, into infamy, you know, and um, it just scares me. I don't think that there's enough security capabilities in England to to deal with that I think it's better to stay away I mean I think it's better for Harry and Meghan to stay away but you know Harry and Meghan are going to do what Harry and Meghan are going to do and I think that they have shown that they know what they are doing and um, I have to just trust them that they're two adults they're very very smart people they know what they're doing and if they decide to go they have their reasons you know I don't have to be their mother <laughs> they're not babies you know what I mean so I just have to trust it but as far as King Charles is concerned I mean I guess they know what they're doing in terms of this coronation and their own security 
and you know whatever i've made other videos with some advice some unsolicited advice about how to diffuse the tensions i don't know how necessarily to diffuse the tensions for this particular group the republic the not my kingers but with the Sussex squatters and the anti-Harry haters, Harry and Meghan haters, you know, I think that some of that can be diffused. But even so, not all of it will be diffused or can be diffused. And I think he might have some, some, some problems, you know, with this coronation. I mean, I don't know. It, it could just sound worse than it actually will be. I hope that's the case for his sake. But, it, you know... I don't. I wasn't around when the Queen was being coronated back in the 1950s, so I don't know if there were similar, you know, vibes and energies. I s strongly doubt it, but um, uh, who knows? You know, I just worry, but it's not for me to worry, is it? It's just for me to sit back and enjoy the show, right? And I guess that's what I need to try to do. So yeah.